Welcome to my presentation on Welcome 2021. I'm Komi Namisawa, the second grade master student at JICE Japan. Our paper's title is Mathematical Characterizations and Computational Computations and Answer Puzzles. This is joint work with Professor Uehara, who is my supervisor, and Professor Hara, who is my previous supervisor at Tokyo University. This is an example of unsized. An unsized puzzle is given a set P of pieces and a frame F. A black guy is a frame. A gray rectangle is a, a four gray rectangles are pieces. The goal of this puzzle is to find an arrangement where all pieces of P are packed into F so that none of them can slide when we tilt or shake the frame in any direction. This is the history of unsized puzzles. In 1994, Will Strybos, who is a Dutch puzzle designer, invented the idea of unsaid puzzles. In 2007, it was sold as a commercial product by Hanayama, a Japanese puzzle company. In 2015, Amano Atoll investigated this puzzle. This unsaid puzzle is a 3D version. It contains 15 caramels, size 1x2x2, times times and a frame 4 times 4 times 4 This puzzle asks us to put 15, 14, 13, or 12 pieces into the frame so that no caramel can slide in any direction. Since then, especially in 2D, several dozens of answered puzzles have been invented in the puzzle society. For example, this is called Stop Puzzle, created by Vladimir Krasnohov, who is a Russian puzzle designer. In 1912, Takenaga Atoll investigated answered puzzles for 2D version. This is an example of interlocking. The interlocking is a special case of unslide. It's given only a set pair of pieces without a frame F. It becomes unslide, not depending on a frame. The left guy is interlocking. The right guy is not interlocking because the right guy can be separated into two parts without leaving 2D space. This is a history of interlock puzzle. In 2012, Hiroshi Yamamoto, who is a Japanese puzzle design designer, invented the idea of interlock puzzle. The name of this puzzle is Rock Device. It has five, five L-shaped pieces I'm sorry, the second page of our paper is correct, uh, uh, incorrect. The seventh page is correct. There are five pieces, not seven pieces. This is our result. We give some mathematical characterizations for unsaid puzzles. For a given arrangement A of a set P of polyominoes, we give a polynomial time algorithm to decision problem for interlocking of polyominoes. We give the proof that answer the puzzle is NP complete if if all pieces are X monotone. We found a boundary condition to make interlocking. This is a definition of support. A point Q in the boundary polygon Q supports a point P in the boundary polygon P respect to direction D when the following two conditions hold. Intuitively, the neighbor of the point P or Q has a positive value for supporting the other point. There are two samples to make sure the inequality holds or not. The left guy holds that inequality, but the right guy is not. So in the right guy, a point Q in the boundary polygon Q does not support a point P in the boundary polygon P with respect to direction D2. We focus on the orthogonal polyominoes for fixed x-axis and y-axis. So we also need to care about the value of y-axis. This is the definition of envelope. This is defined for direction D. The black endpoint and the blue, blue lines are included in the lower envelope, while the white endpoints are not. We define the upper envelope in the same manner. This is the definition of weekly and slide. This is defined for direction D. We use the notion lawyer envelope to define weekly and slide. 
we say that polygon Q supports polygon P in this case. This is some re representative examples. We defined another notion strongly and said in our paper. It means the center of gravity point of polygon P is supported from below by polygon Q and Q prime. This notion is needed when we consider the 3D version of the answered puzzles. Especially, we note that the case of D is not strongly answered. In real puzzle, if polygon P has some thickness, it is considered as an answered case since the polygon P is supported by polygon Q prime from the right. A polyomino is unslide if and only if it is weakly unslide for each four directions parallel to x axis or y axis. By this definition, we can consider the case D is unslide. This model fits the answered puzzles in 3D version by Amaro at all, and it also fits the real answered puzzles for the set of polyominoes, which are the most popular one in the puzzle society. This is the definition of merge. When two polyominoes at shares at least one edge in the arrangement A, a merge of two polyominoes is a replacement of these two, two, two polyominoes by one polyomino, which is obtained by gluing these two polyominoes. Let A be an arrangement of a set P of polyominoes. Let A prime be a partial arrangement induced by any subset P prime P. We repeat merging of two polyominoes in the partial arrangement A prime as many times as we can. We call this operation a match of the subset P prime of P. We suppose that we obtain a single polyomino P prime as merging all elements in the subset P prime of P. Then the partial arrangement A is said to be unsigned. When the corresponding polyomino P prime is unsigned after the replacing the partial arrangement A prime by polyomino P prime in arrangement A. This is the definition of interlocking. We define that the arrangement A is interlocking if and only if P prime is unsigned for any subset P prime of P by, made by the merge technique. In other words, there is no subset P prime of P made by the merge technique that separates the arrangement A into two or more parts. This is a directed graph representation for arrangement A over subset P. Define that the direction D is N, E, S, or W. Define that the four directed graphs DDA as follows. For P and Q in P, we, we have an arc PQ if and only if Q supports P in direction D. Remark that we focus on the orthogonal polyominoes for fixed X axis and Y axis. Lemma 1. Let P and A be a set of polyominoes and its arrangement. Then A interlocks if and only if four graphs. DNA, DEA, and DSA, and DWA are strongly connected. We note, the definition, uh, we note that the definition are symmetric with respect to the pair of directions SN and EW. Therefore, when we reverse all edges in DNA, we can obtain DSA, and so DEA and DWA are. This implies that corollary, uh, corollary 1. Considering, on, considering only DNA and DA are sufficient. Okay, theorem 1. For a given arrangement A of a set P of polyominoes, we can determine whether A is interlocking or not in order N square times, whether N is the total number of vertices of polyominoes. Proof. Since the total number of P is N, we, can, we have the size of P is equal to order N. Uh, order N. The decision problem for strong inequality can be done in order n square times. This is the definition of x monotone polyominal. For a direction L, uh, for line L, a polygon P is said to be L monotone if the intersection of polygon P and the line L prime is connected. For example, a line segment, a point, or empty for any line L prime perpendicular to line L. If the line L can be the x-axis, 
we call it X monotone. For example, all pentomino is X monotone. Theorem 2. Let P and F be an instance of answered puzzle. It is MP complete to find an answered arrangement for P in F. Proof. The answered puzzle is in class MP using by the state, uh, statement of theorem 1. We show the NP hardness reduction from the three passion problem. The three passion problem is a well known NP complete problem. There are two important points for our proof. B by 4 is smaller than AI, and AI is smaller than B by 2, and AI plus AJ plus AK is equal to B. Prepare these three M pieces and the frame F with M holes, which size is 2B plus 3 times 4B. This is a setting of pieces. As you can see, make the packing state is easy. On the other hand, make the unsaid state is hard from the hardness of three passion problem. Theorem 3. Let P be an instance of interlock puzzle. It is MP complete to find an interlocking arrangement for P even if all P's in P are X monotone. Proof. We, di we divide the frame F in the proof of theorem 2 into five X monotone polyominoes as shown in this figure. Then we have that statement. Remark that we can make interlocking when all pieces are X monotone. Theorem 4. We cannot make an interlocking when all pieces are X convex. Proved by contradiction, we can use Herbert Edelsbrunner's idea in 1990. He named it growing technique. This is our result. We gave some mathematical characterizations for answered puzzles. For a given arrangement A of a set P of polyominoes, we give a polynomial time algorithm to decision problem for interlocking of polyominoes. We gave the proof that answer the puzzle is NP complete even if all pieces are X monotone. We found a boundary condition to make an interlocking. Future work. In our research, we propose some 2D models for answer the puzzles and interlock puzzles. Extension to 3D are future work. In puzzle society, there are some puzzles called coordinate motion in which all pieces have to be moved smoothly and simultaneously to assemble or disassemble. Example, for example, this is called exploding ball created by George Bell and Stefan Chin. This puzzle is based on one pink lingo presented by Stefan Chin at 2010 Nobu Yoshigara Puzzle Design Competition. You can watch this puzzle on George Bell's YouTube channel. Please take the summary section on this video. I will post the link of that video. These puzzles are decided to be unsaid or interlocking in our framework. However, they actually can be solid and disassembled in neat ways. Information. Uh, if you have some comments, please type a message in the comment section on this video or send me an email in Japanese or English. Thank you for listening.